While I've played racing games for over three decades, the truth is that the Forza Motorsport series opened my eyes to sim racing as a niche and a hobby. Some will immediately scoff at what I just said, saying sim, arcade, or even a term I loathe, simcade. All I know is I absolutely adore the Forza Motorsport series, and generally for me, particularly, I've super happy, fond memories of Forza Motorsport 4. So with all the press surrounding the upcoming edition of Forza Motorsport, I decided to begin my coverage of this title because potentially I could be playing a heck of a lot of it. Due out in October of 2023, we're learning more and more details about the title. First of all, it's going to be available on Xbox Series S and X and Steam. There'll also be a deluxe edition which will include things like extra car packs or a season pass. I'm not sure of the concrete details on that yet. Chris Asaki, the creative director, has said though that there will be no microtransactions transactions relating to things like credits in the game, that everything is earned. I'm glad to hear that. We know certain details as well, such as the entire physics simulation has been overhauled. This now has 48 times more detail than previous versions. There'll be fuel management and different tyre compounds too. A day and night cycle is available on all circuits as well as a full complement of weather conditions, so you will be able to simulate whichever time of day and weather conditions you want when you want. A good detail within this is that the weather changes the ambient temperature which affects the track surface temperature which also changes the level of grip along with the rubbering in of the circuit. While I admit these are things that should be included in racing sims these days, it's good to hear them confirmed directly. Something I've been missing from racing games as a whole is the feeling of progression. I'll be quite honest, I have little care for the endless cycle of racing a GT3 car on another well-known track, rinsing and repeating that all night just for the sake of racing. I realise for a racing channel that might sound counterintuitive, but honestly, it's been that way forever and I wanted to see something different. In steps, potentially, the Forza Motorsport Builders Cup. The key words that we've heard lately for the new mode are level, build and dominate. What I'm about to explain seems to have split the community, but personally, I love the potential of it. In the Builders Cup career, you're going to have a variety of events to take part in. One might require a modern sports car, maybe the next one might need an iconic front wheel hot hatch. The cars in Forza Motorsport now have a progression system. This goes from level 1 to level 50. You gain experience by driving the car. The idea being that you form a connection to the car and a sense of worth. They estimate it's going to take around 2 hours to level up a car. As you level up the car, you're going to unlock performance upgrades. So it won't be as simple as earning credit and then going and buying every upgrade possible for that car immediately. You must actually drive them and unlock the upgrades and earn them. Each corner in a race will then get you experience which will be added to your car's level. This is the theme for the whole career mode. What do you think to it? Would you rather just jump in and upgrade immediately or are you into this whole idea of being forced to drive a car and as they put it, earn the upgrades? Honestly, I'm on board with it. In fact, I love the idea of it. I've always wanted a sense of ownership of the vehicles that I'm racing, that it's mine rather than a set of pixels that I'm racing against another set of identical pixels. I mean, of course, maybe it basically ends up being that way once the cars are fully upgraded in lobbies. Truthfully, I don't know, but for a little time you can really commit to a direction you want to go with the cars you want to drive. Of course, this will do little to avoid potential meta cars in lobbies. If one car seems particularly strong, everyone will level it up, but we will see. If you're enjoying this video, please do make sure you hit that like button. It's really very important to show YouTube that you like like it. This will also help me see that more people would like to see Forza Motorsport content in the future. Please also consider hitting that subscribe button followed by the bell to make sure you see each time I post a video. As they say, the intent is to make you use the gameplay loop within the Builders Cup to build a relationship with your car, mastering it as you progress through the car levels, feeling its limits change. Race weekends have distinct stages. Firstly, open practice. Here it seems you're given 
given mini objectives to complete and you can meet those also with corner segments you're assessed on how well you do and given car experience based on that then you move on to challenge the grid this replaces a traditional qualifying session within it you can select where you want to start on the grid ai difficulty and rule set this will all change your payout at the end of the race and lastly we've got the race in which you still continue to get segment scores and experience points for things such as overtakes further increasing your car level after the race you can check out what upgrades you might have unlocked and you can install these using car points will you be checking out forza motorsport honestly i think it looks achingly pretty i'm really hoping for a nice driving experience to go along with the all-new career mode the builders cup i'd love to know your thoughts i'll see you on track